Hi, my name is Ahmed Ismail. I migrated to Australia in 2009. I now have three children, um, the oldest being eight and the youngest being two. Um, I'm based in Melbourne, Victoria, and I'm a business owner, um, as well as also the founder of uh, the Somali Australian Business and Professionals Incorporated based here in Melbourne. With regards to the businesses, um, I own a travel agency and manage it as well, um, and also a cafe. Um, so I'm all about uh, creating opportunities uh, that could create opportunities for others as well. Um, and so we've been running this for about three years now here in Heidelberg West. And in the cafe we've got um, Chris and James who work there. Um, we've built amazing relationships. Um, and also having to own a business within your community shows young people that number one, first of all, you're capable of pursuing your dreams um, and secondly we have role models that have been there and done it that they can reach up to at any time so we get young people drop by the, the cafe as well as the travel agency talk to me about various issues not just business but also how to go about certain issues within the community within their families so just being present and being accessible um, to the younger people I think has been the most positive thing that has come out of being, having a business within your community. With regards to the Smart Australian Business and Professionals Group, um, what we do is we organize networking events as well as information sharing um, to inspire the next generation of Somali space here in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, we've just concluded an international conference which we just held where we were showcasing Somali success stories not just here in Melbourne, Victoria but internationally as well. We got speakers from Sweden, the US, the UK, um, as well as local talent. And it was all based on showcasing and inspiring the next generation. And the importance of this is we believe that we need to create opportunities for the next generation by being the role models that uh, we want them to be for our children and their children and for generations to come. Living in Victoria has been, I think, my default choice and I was happy to have migrated first to Victoria, um, being able to uh, practice your religion, being able to um, live within your extended family, um, having access to other cultures and other communities and being able to uh, speak so many languages, having lived in Zimbabwe, having lived in the Dubai, the UK, Malaysia. I grew up in a multicultural setting all through my life. So having come to Melbourne, I think I came to the best multicultural city in the world.